Okay, friends, today we are going to subtract fractions with unlike denominators. This is part one of a three-part series. And we are going to use the problem 7 twelfths take away 1 fourth, also known as a quarter. When we look at these numbers, first off, we know that 4 is compatible with 12 because 4 goes into 12, count them, three times. So we take 4 times 3, same to the bottom as the top, and we are going to make an equivalent fraction of 3 twelfths. And since we're not going to use this one and they're the same, what we're going to do is we're just going to fruit ninja that, take that out. And now what we have is 7 twelfths take away 3 twelfths equals 4 over 12. And yay, we solved the problem. That's good and all, but there's something that we know in fifth grade. We know we can make four twelfths a little bit smaller and so we know that four goes into four and four goes into twelve so what we're going to do is we're going to take our four twelfths and we're going to divide that by our divisor which is four same to the bottom as the top and although four twelfths is a correct answer we also know this is the same as one third so we can then say four twelfths equals one third. And that is part one. Part two. All right, welcome back everybody to part two of subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. And so what we're gonna do with this problem today is we are going to take a look at one third take away one seventh. And in class, what we notice is that we cannot subtract these from each other because they do not have like denominators. And so, what we need to do is we need to find a common denominator. We know that 3 and 7 don't work well together, so what we need to do, and I call it crisscross multiplication, this side needs to be multiplied by the 3 on that side, and this side over here is going to be multiplied by the 7. And what that's going to do is that is going to give us equivalent fractions with 21 as the denominator. And as always, we do the same to the bottom as the top, so on this side, we are going to multiply the 1 times 3. That's going to give us a fraction of 3 21ths. And this side we are going to multiply by 7. And that is going to give us a fraction of 7 21ths. And since these are equivalent, we're just going to kind of get these out of the way. We're going to leave them there so we know they're there. But now we can subtract 7 and 3 because we have common denominators. And we know that 7 21ths take away 3 21st is going to give us 4 over 21 for a final answer. And once again, we found that answer by using what I call crisscross multiplication, and this is our final answer. Hooray! All right, everyone, it is time for part three of subtracting fractions with unlike denominators. And we are going to take a look at 5 6 take away 2 ninths. Now, if you watch part two, many of you think that, oh yeah, we can do crisscross multiplication. I can multiply this side by nine and this side by six. Well, you can, but there is an easier way to do this. And the easy way involves showing your factors. So right here in my corner, I'm gonna list my sixes. I got six, 12, 18, 24, and 30. Next up, I have my nines. I got my nine, 18, 27, 36, and immediately I found out that both of these have a common factor of 18. So I am going to make 5, 6 into an equivalent fraction of something over 18. Take away 2 ninths as something over 18. And to do this, I need to count my factors. I got 6, 12, 18 times 3. 6 times 3 is 18. 5 times 3 is 15. 
And over here I have 918, 9 times 2 is 18, and then 2 times 2 is 4. We know we have equivalent fractions, and so now we have 15 eighteenths take away 4 eighteenths, and that is going to leave us with a final answer of 11 eighteenths. Circle that up, and we found the correct answer simply by listing our factors, finding equivalent fractions, and subtracting correctly, and everyone is awesome.